All right, so we're back, and we're here talking about the FingerTech Viper Robot Starter Kit. Now, in the previous video, we showed that the Viper Kit was closed up like so, okay, and it contained all of these things inside of it, actually. So I wanted to go through those quickly uh, before we actually started assembling the kit, just to kind of get, your, uh, get you familiar and you can see what's going to come with it. So as you can see, we have two motors. You know, they're a little bit different than typical motors. They have a longer shaft. It looks like they might be specifically designed just for this kit. Um, there's information right here about FingerTech Robotics, so you always know exactly where it came from. You can probably go to their website and probably find replacement motors if you have to. Now you have two tires. Okay, now these are foam. Okay, they're really meant for the indoors, not for outdoors. Um, but this could definitely be used for competitions and whatnot. I've seen a lot of the ones out at RoboGames, and they're using these tires or something very similar to them. Now you have these hubs here. You have two, so it's going to be one for each of one of the wheels attached to each one of these motors. Now you also have here, which is the typical hobby receiver, except it's a little bit smaller. It looks like it has two antennas. I'm not the pro at the hobby world and more into the robotic side, but this does look like an antenna and this one also does look like an antenna. Um, it looks like here is where we'll be plugging in the motors. Okay, and uh, that's about it for that part. And it came with this little jumper. Not really sure we're going to use that for just yet, but we'll find out soon enough. Now, the other things that are included are this little bag of goodies here. <coughs> Excuse me. That includes two 9 volt uh, connectors, uh, included of screws and some shrinking tube. Now, we talked about in the earlier video that we were not going to be using a heat gun uh, simply because of the cost, um, but you can pick one up at your local Harbor Freight for about 12 bucks. so if you want to go for it. You can also, if you know how to do it carefully, which is what we're going to be doing, is we're going to be using a lighter and just kind of grazing it over the top. Again, it's recommended as per the the the, the manual uh, to use a heat sh uh, heat shrinking uh, gun or a heat gun. Again, we don't have one. We're just making it easier on us. And the other two parts here, which I'm assuming are going to be connected to each one of these motors, then connected to the receiver, which will be these tiny ESCs. I'm not really sure what these are for, um, but we'll find out. Maybe there's some kind of a speed controller of some sort. And if we read it here, it says basically it's an ultra compact and lightweight. Uh, let's see. Doesn't really say exactly. Um, but we'll find out sure enough. As we start building it, we'll actually talk about it and see exactly what these mini ES these tiny ESCs are. And it looks like there's two again, so that's going to be one for each motor. And we're good to go. 